In this video, we're going to show you how to assemble the catapult for those who have smaller 3D printers. The normal catapult that comes with the lesson is a one piece frame to where when you pop it off, it folds in place, you put the other pieces in and you're able to use the catapult all in one shot. But for people with smaller 3D printers, we broke the frame up into three pieces. We're going to show you how to assemble that now. First thing we're going to do is grab the, both the frame pieces, the left and the right. It really doesn't matter which one, they're the same exact piece. You're going to grab the middle frame piece and you're going to put the parts together just like this. Don't use a whole lot of force and break these. Of course, if you do, you can just reprint it. Now, sometimes these may be a little tight and your 3D printer may have specific settings that need to be changed. If they don't work, we'd be glad to help you with that if you need help with it. As you can see right here, it just snaps right in. And we're going to simply do the same thing on the other side. Take that frame on the bottom and you're going to snap it in. And as you can see, the frame is pretty much assembled. Now, it's still not stable because we need to put the crossbar in. Now, the crossbar goes into the top. It really doesn't matter which way you flip it. You want to just make sure that you put one end on one side and snap the other end on the other side. And that's pretty much it for the frame. Now, the next piece is the throwing arm. This is what actually launches the device. And as you can see on each side, there are some holes. And what I like to do is I like to take the M3 by 10 bolt and start it in one hole on the end right here. And you may need a tool, an Allen wrench socket head to use. And I'm basically just going to get this thing in there just a little bit. And the next thing you're going to do is insert it into one side. Now, make sure when you do this that you have the hole facing up in the throwing arm and not down because that's actually going to hold the object that you're going to throw. So as you can see, it popped right into one side. And of course, we're going to do just the other side with the bolt. It's a little tricky at first to kind of get these things started. Now, yours may be a little looser and that's okay if you can just do it by hand. You want these bolts to stay in there and not fall out. So if your 3D printer settings are not correct, it could cause a lot of plate and that bolt could actually fall out. You may have to adjust and add more perimeter settings on your 3D printer. But we're gonna take and just tighten that a little bit. If you notice, I don't have those all the way tight because as you can see, it's flush here when I push and it's also flush here if I push in so it won't fall out. And that's pretty much it. But for the throwing arm, it's going to ride up and down just like that. The last thing is the angle bar. What's cool about the angle bar is along the sides of the catapult, there's different holes. And this is made for you to adjust the catapult however you want to throw it, the distance of the object. And we're going to talk about that in the math lesson, ex exactly about angles and how to use this catapult for the math lesson. So right now I'm going to use the, let's say the second hole from the top. So I'm gonna take my angle bar and simply just insert it in one side. Whatever side's easiest to start with, of course. It'll pop right in and you simply put it on the other side. And there's the angle bar. So for the most part, that's the entire catapult. The last thing you're gonna need is the rubber band. This is gonna cause the tension to be on the catapult to launch the objects. Now, here's a little trick. You can do this multiple ways. There's no right or wrong way to do this catapult as long as it provides tension on the throwing arm and launches the object. So figure out what works best for you. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in this video. In the other video, we had the rubber band on one side and wrapped around the other side, the crossbar at the top, and then we'll go around the throwing arm. We're gonna do something a little bit different. This is a little bit different design and I kinda of like what I'm gonna do here better. Watch very close. I'm gonna take the rubber band and loop it just like this. But then I'm going to come underneath, take one end of the catapult. Don't. I'm going to bring it inside of itself, the rubber band, and then I'm going to pull. Now I'm going to try to get it in that notch. That's right here in the middle of that throwing arm. And I'm going to tighten that rubber band just like that. And if the angle bar comes out, no big deal. Just get that thing out the way. Actually, it's probably better just to do that anyway, isn't it? So there you go. And we're going to take that rubber band and put it right there on that catapult. And here is what's gonna happen. You have these notches on the throwing arm that you can adjust the rubber band. And you can hold this catapult kinda of pretty much anywhere. And we're gonna take and let go. And that's what's gonna give you that tension to throw that object. And you can loop this rubber band how far 
or how many times you need on here to give you more attention to launch your object. But for now, I'm just going to keep it like this. Last thing, I'm going to put my angle bar back and I'll just put it in any hole. It doesn't really matter at this point. And as you can see, the catapult is fully complete. And you can take it and now you can launch your object. The last thing is you need an object or projectile to throw. And in this case, I have some 3D printed poop, of course. So this is something that goes along with the lesson. If you don't know anything about it, why we use poop is because catapults actually used to launch poop in medieval times to launch at other people. It's pretty gross. And you know, of course, kids like to like to do this. So we went ahead and model it. So you can just put your penny or whatever object you have in here and launch that object and let it go. Be careful. Again, it could cause damage if you point this at a person or point this at anything that can break, you don't want to cause any damage. For the most part, that's it for this lesson on the assembly of this catapult. So please stay tuned for more videos. We hope you really enjoyed this and please have fun.